Hey guys, John here. Figured I'd check in, give you guys an update. I'm going to do a review. Uh, I'm excited about it and a quick update just in general on everything that's going on. Um, we had a lot of rain, <laughs> a whole lot of rain. If anybody's been watching the news, um, it started last Saturday and just continued to just pour for two days to the point where the Cumberland River um, overflowed its banks, the Harpeth River overflowed its banks. Yeah, lots of uh, lots of people out of their homes, um, a lot of devastation, a lot of just just not good stuff. So anyway, um, we were fine. Uh, we didn't have any any real damage. Our, our driveway got rained out, got washed out. That was about it. Um, shoveling some gravel later, um, it's pretty much back to normal. So anyway, let's uh, let's move on. A uh, couple of things uh, I'm going to be brewing this weekend, I believe. I got all my grains. Um, bought them pre-crushed because I don't have a barley crusher. Um, but I'm doing a uh, a very simple recipe. It's a Jamil recipe, and it is a cream ale. Here's the recipe, straight off of uh, I think it's Bonjour.com. Uh, Jamil's recipes. You should look. It's uh, five pounds of Pilsner malt. Five pounds of uh, breeze two row, a pound of flaked corn, and a pound of cane sugar, and one and a half ounces of Liberty hops. And we're using American ale, uh, Y yeast American ale yeast. Uh, I'm using a smack pack, and I'll do a starter. Uh, I will probably film it, but we'll see. Um, now for the what everybody's here for. Today's review is a beer I haven't tried, no uh, research whatsoever, but I've heard tons about it, and I'm sure you have too. Today's beer, that's right, Devil Bastard, Stone Brewery. Anyway, let's get to the uh, this J.O.D. smoke test. smoke. Oh well. We'll go with the pour. About, about like last time. Very similar head. Very similar color. Um, almost identical color I would say um, yeah I would go I'd say that's almost the exact same color as uh, as Arrogant Bastard so I would assume a similar malt bill I'm getting the same smells although not as strong I thought uh, this might be stronger but maybe not I'm not, I'm not getting as much uh, I'm getting more like sweet like a sweet um, sweetness but still that cascady kind of grapefruit citrusy hop character it's nice I mean it's really nice it smells really really good uh, this is well carbonated head sticking around a little bit but not not a ton but anyway let's get to it It's pretty good. It's um, very, very similar to the Arrogant Bastard. I'm getting a little bit more of an alcohol kind of burn when uh, when I drink it. Um, a little bit more of an alcohol burn, but not much. Um, this one is, let's see, 10 and a half uh, ABV, so a little bit more alcohol. Uh, well. 50% more alcohol uh, than the than the arrogant bastard. Um, uh, not necessarily hoppier. I would say a little bit more bite, maybe, but not not a ton hoppier um, by any means. I think uh, this is basically, like I said, it's, it's 
like last time, 40, 45 degrees probably. But I think I get more of a more of that hoppy aftertaste than I did with Arrogant Bastard, I think, with this. That's good. I mean, that's really good. Again, just like Arrogant Bastard, um, if I see it on the shelves when I go shopping for beer, definitely put it in rotation. I don't know if I'd buy as many of these because it's a little higher alcohol. You can't drink as many of them. So, uh, like special occasion type stuff, I'd probably buy it. Um, I think I paid uh, like six fifty-seven bucks for for the 22 ounce bomber. Um, really good beer. Not as malty. It smells maltier. But I'm getting more hop in this one than I'm getting malt sweetness. Um, not as balanced to me. Um, good beer. I like I like uh, the uh, the brother better. I like uh, I like arrogant bastard. I think better. Um, anyway, guys. Um, again, suggestions below. R rate, subscribe, comment. Lots of comments, um, suggestions, um, anything. Um, Nashville Flood, uh, if you guys get a chance, uh, check out the Red Cross website. I think it's nashville.redcross.com. If not .com, maybe .org, but I think it's .com. Um, there's a text you can do. It's 90999. Um, I can't think of what you do. Look it up. It's, it's, it's out there in a bunch of different places, Facebook and a bunch of different places to donate. It's a text message. Uh, I think they add ten dollars to your, um, they add ten dollars to your uh, phone bill, and uh, you donate to the flood. A uh, lot, a lot of people out of their homes. A lot of people really, really need help. Um, so, uh, if you can donate, please do. Uh, if not, um, do what you can. Um, that's uh, that's all I got today. Anyway, double bastard. It's a four time a year beer for me probably. Finish this baby off and got another half a beer left in there. Finish the baby off and uh get to bed. Actually playing golf tomorrow. That'll be fun. I'm gonna do a video too on my hops. Um I planted some rhizomes like a week and a half ago and they're already like, you know, a couple of inches, like an inch, inch and a half to, to two, two and a half inches. So I'm gonna do a video of that. Um, let you guys see them, how I got them planted, and give you an idea of how, how I planted them. Um, and we'll go from there. Anyway, guys, cheers.